Hi and welcome to the Intervino School of Wine. I'm Saras Chaharday and today we're going to be looking at a great, great variety called Roussan. So Roussan, uh, until recently, was mainly found only uh, in the Rhone region of France. Uh, nowadays it's uh, grown uh, and, and, and um, made into great wine in other places of France but also abroad. Let's have a look together at this fantastic, aromatic and impulsive, hard-to-grow grape variety. Roussan. 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 Originally, Roussan is from the Rhone region of France, uh, the region that gives us wines such as Chateauneuf-du-Pape, Condrieux, uh, Hermitage, uh, Cote Roti. This is where Roussan is originally from. It's uh, a grape that is important mainly in the northern region uh, of uh, the, the Rhone Valley in wines such as Hermitage, such as Croze Hermitage uh, and Saint Joseph in white. As I said earlier, it's a grape variety that's very difficult to grow. It's tricky, it's susceptible to rot, and it doesn't produce very much wine at all. But when it does, it's a fantastic wine. It's often blended with its partner, often uh, uh, recognized as Marsan. We always talk of Marsan Roussan as, as, a, as a two grape variety um, uh, duo, hand in hand but Roussan itself is a great grape variety. The name Roussan comes from the French word roux, which means red, russet to be exact. The main aromas of Roussan are a mix of floral and fruity. For fruity, think lime, think apricot, and then on the floral side, we have honeysuckle and iris that are very present in this grape variety. By itself, uh, Roussan is going to produce wines which are rather acidic, rather crisp, big acidity, and a, a, a low level of sweetness to a, to a higher level of sweetness when we reach good maturity of the grape. It's a grape that has wonderful aromatics on the nose and a wonderful flavor profile on the palate. But as I said, it's a grape that's most often going to be blended with Marsan. Marsan uh, is going to add roundness, is going to add weight, it's going to add a, a, a bit more thickness, oiliness to this fresh crisp wine and together they, they really form a great partnership to produce wines that have great aging potential but at the same time that are in their youth aromatic and round at the same time. If you have a good bottle of Roussan and you're looking to pair it with the perfect food, I would definitely recommend going two directions. First direction, we go for something rather delicate, have that acidity uh, come through, um, things like shellfish, uh, seafood, so definitely uh, things such as king prawns, uh, lobster, crab are going to be very interesting with Roussan. Or we can go towards a more interesting direction uh, with foods from Northern Africa, tagine, where are we going to have those, um, the, 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 the aromatics. You, you, I told you that Roussan was aromatic and it's going to go well with those aromatic dishes from the Northern Rhone. Uh, so tagines, for example, the apricot is going to come back uh, uh, and, and blend well together. Or we could go to, to, towards some Indian dishes like a Madras curry. And again, those wonderful aromatic profiles that are going to go brilliantly with Roussan. It's, a, it's also a great variety that can be really interesting with, with cheese. That freshness, that acidity is going to cut uh, through the cheese and the aromatic profile is going to be interesting to go with um, some, some very decent cheeses, hard cheeses. We're going to go for things such as, such as an Old Emmental, Old Gruyere, or maybe a Comté or even uh, a Cheddar, you know, with, with those salty notes. Very going to be very interesting uh, with Roussan especially if we have a bit of Marsan uh, in there as well. 
Okay, what are the best regions for, for Roussanne? I would definitely say the Northern Rhone, without, without a shadow of a doubt, the Northern Rhone and the, uh, the, the, the Appalachians, which I spoke about earlier. Hermitage, uh, White Hermitage, uh, Saint-Joseph, uh, Saint-Péret, uh, the Northern Rhone, all that valley that goes up, some wonderful uh, white wines, lesser known. Not many people know of White Hermitage or White Cross Hermitage or White Saint-Joseph or Saint-Péret wonderful wines uh, that are very much uh, Roussan based. And then the other place I would go is to California and the Central Valley, which produces some wonderful uh, Roussan wines as well. So those are the, really the two places to go for if you're going to have uh, and if you're looking to enjoy Roussan. If uh, Roussan is your style of wine, then definitely other similar wines that you could go for, other grape varieties that you could go for are Torontes of, uh, from Argentina, which is going, also going to have an aromatic profile that's rather different, but high aromatics, good acidity and freshness, and a low level of sweetness. Another grape variety that's in, interesting is in Northern Italy, a grape variety called uh, Ribola Gialla, which is going to have a, a rather uh, similar uh, profile to uh, Roussan. Uh, maybe not quite as aromatic, but a big acidity and a low level of sweetness. Interesting wines. So if you like Ribola Gialla, if you like Torontes, Give Roussan uh, a try, definitely. And otherwise, if you've tried Roussan and you love it, I definitely recommend tasting Ribola Gialla and Torontes. And that is it uh, for today's uh, great variety discovery where we looked at Roussan. I hope you enjoyed uh, discovering, discovering this great uh, variety uh, with us. Um, I wish you a wonderful time. And until uh, the next video, santé.